mental illness. For those who have it, it's hard to deal with. For those who don't have it, they don't understand it, and they probably never really will. I just wanted to talk about, you know, mental illness in general. Um, I know I have a video about depression and I have a video about anxiety um, because I, I do have both, but I'm kind of just generalizing it here and I want to talk about what it's like to live with a mental illness, any kind of mental illness. I mean, I don't have every mental illness out there, so I can't tell you what all of them are like from someone's from someone who has it perspective, you know. But just from someone who does have mental does suffer from mental illness, I can say what it's like. And this video isn't just for people who have mental illness who suffer from it. It's for people who don't as well and maybe who know someone who does, like their best friend or their mother or their father or maybe their daughter or their son, you know, their lover. Um, it's hard to understand. It's something that's extremely hard to understand because for people who don't have it, they're like, well, it's just in your head. Just make it go away. Like, just deal with it. Just suck it up. You know, and it's like, yeah, yeah, it is all in my head. I mean, that's kind of the point. It's a mental illness. Um, but it can't, it doesn't go away. It it just, you can't just make it poof gone, go away. If you have cancer, can you just make it go away? If you have, you know, scoliosis, I have scoliosis. If you don't know what scoliosis is, it's a curve, curve of the spine. My spine, before I had surgery for it, was, the degree was so bad, it was so curved that it was literally, it looked like an S, like an S. Um, could I make that just go away? Could I just deal with it and suck it up and just, like, go away? No, I, I had to have surgery, I mean, because it was physical, so obviously that was the cure. Have surgery, put metal rods to straighten out the spine, and bam, I'm not, I'm not crooked. <laughs> um, but mental illness is more than that. It's not physical. You can't just cure it. You can't just have surgery for it. You know, it's in your brain. I mean, technically, that is kind of physical since it's in your brain. But, you know, it's it's chemicals and stuff in, in your brain. <clears throat> it's your, it's your um, hormones and your so different chemicals. And I should know this because I'm in psychology, but I forget what the neurotransmitters. There you go. It's those. It's the neurotransmitters and stuff. You know, some people just have an imbalance and it creates mental illness and yes we have medication yes people who have mental illness can take medication for it that doesn't mean it's just cured not every medication is going to work for every person some people have to try multiple like different medications before they actually can find one that works for them and some will seem like they're working in the first like four or five months, and then all of a sudden, it's like their their body gets immune to it, so either you up the dosage or you change medication because now all of a sudden your mental illness is back. Um, and it's just, it's something that is really hard to live with. I, I have an anxiety disorder. I have a generalized anxiety disorder, um, which is not having anxiety about something specific, but just having anxiety for no particular reason. Um, some people, like, have phobias and stuff, so they would have anxiety, like, for a certain thing, if they see a certain thing or if they go a certain place, like post-traumatic stress disorder, they get anxiety, you know, because of that. But a generalized anxiety disorder is you just have anxiety for no reason. There's there's no known reason for it other than your brain is kind of wonky, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> your brain just doesn't want to work properly and be like, oh, there's no reason to be scared right now. Not everyone who has an anxiety disorder suffers from panic attacks. There's different degrees of anxiety disorders. Um, I do, however, suffer from panic attacks. 
I've suffered from them for years that now I don't, you don't know when I'm having a panic attack because I know when I'm having one, I know it's just a panic attack. I know it'll probably go away in like 20 minutes tops. It usually only lasts like 10 minutes. So I usually just ignore the symptoms and they eventually do go away. But a panic attack is something that's very scary for like someone who's experiencing one for the first time because they it's a real physical thing that's going on. You have heart palpitations, you're sweaty, you're you have a hard time breathing, you can't breathe. Um it's 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 scary and it's very much real. Yes, it is all in your head. Um, yes, I can calm myself down. I, I'm, I know when I'm having one because I've had them for so long. That doesn't mean that I stuck. I don't have them anymore, though. I still have them for no reason. I can't control when I'm gonna have a panic attack. I can't control that. The only thing I can do is deal with it while I'm having one, and that's all someone can do with a mental illness. You can't make your mental illness go away. It's it's not gonna go away, probably. Like, it's something that's that doesn't really have a cure. It just has coping methods, pretty much. <laughs> um, and the hard thing about it is everyone has different coping mechanisms that you have to find which one works for you. Um, you know, I've... I've learned how to deal with my anxiety to to an extent. Um, depression, on the other hand, you know, that's also something I suffer from, and that's that's not really something that's ever really going to go away either, because anxiety and depression go hand in hand. It's just something that's there in my brain that I I have depression. That doesn't mean I'm always depressed. You know, I can be very happy. I can be happy for a week straight. Um, it just means that people with depression, they get sad easier than other people. Things get to them more than other people. You know, if, like, the smallest thing happens, it, it can trigger us, and we can fall into, the, like, this downward spiral of, like, sadness and moping and self-loathing and worthlessness, it's like, you just, it's, it's horrible. And people who don't suffer from depression, they don't really, they don't really understand the difference between just being upset and having depression. Having depression isn't just being upset. It's not just being sad. You're depressed. It's like 10 times worse than just being sad. The reason why I got this idea to kind of talk about this is because, you know, I have a boyfriend. Um, that's not something that's new. I've talked about it before. Um, my boyfriend, however, doesn't suffer from any sort of mental illness. And, you know, it, it can really put a strain on our relationship sometimes when I'm going through, you know, a depressed, a depressive state. When I'm in a depressive state, I talk really nonsense like, it doesn't, to someone who doesn't really get it, what I'm saying, what I'm talking about, it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you don't fucking want to kill yourself, and he can get mad at me, but, and I know that I don't want to kill myself, I, and I don't, obviously, and I'm not going to, but when you're in that depressive state, you don't, you're not in the right frame of mind, you don't know what you're saying, you know, you're just thinking bad thoughts. And it's just as hard for him as it is for me because he doesn't get it. And that's not something I can blame him for. It's not. If, if he doesn't have it in his head, then he's not going to understand it. You know, just like I can't understand someone who suffers from like AIDS or something. I can't know what it's like for them because I don't have it. And I could be, all I can do is try to be as supportive as possible. Same, same for him. Same for if you're in a relationship or something like that. Um, or just have a close friendship and it's putting a strain on that. You know, just any kind of relationship, not just romantic ones. Um, it's hard and it, it definitely does put a strain and there is some fighting. You know, we do fight sometimes because 
it's usually my fault, but I know that it's not my fault because of my mental disorder, because of my mental illness. I'm, I can't help that. Um, but at the same time, the fights are usually started because of me and because he gets you know, he doesn't know how to handle it. I'm kind of talking to both parties here. I'm talking to who, whoever it is who doesn't have it and who knows someone who does. And I'm also talking to people who have it and who's, like, in a relationship with someone who doesn't have it or whatever. I'm talking to both of you when I'm saying that just try to think from their perspective and just try to kind of, you know, understand a little bit. I know it's you're never going to fully understand because you're not them, but, you know, you have to be understanding and try to just, whoa, stop, breathe. Okay, why are you saying this? You know, if someone has anxiety, if someone is depressed, if someone is bipolar or whatever, and they're, like, talking and they're complaining to you about something or anything, you know, don't get mad at them. Don't, don't fight back. If they're trying to pick a fight with you, don't fight back. Be like, what's going on? Why are you feeling like this? What are you thinking? You know, because chances are there's something behind it. They're not just getting mad at you for no reason. There's something behind it, and they just don't know how to properly express it. You know, for, for the people with mental illness, if that's happening, if that happens to you, if you start fights with people and you don't mean to and you don't know how to stop, you know, just stop and think, why am I angry right now? Why am I upset? Why am I getting mad? What's really going on? You know, what am I really upset about? And try and stop and breathe and think about it before you act and try to um, think think before you speak, pretty much. I, I hope this helped anyone. Um, I know I didn't really, like, write anything down. I was just kind of talking what was in my head. Um, but, yeah, I just, I just wanted to put that out there because, you know, we all struggle. Everyone has a, some sort of struggle going on in their life. The struggle that you know, I'm faced with is mental illness and coping with that and dealing with my relationships with people, but especially with my boyfriend. It's, you know, that's what I struggle with. And as I'm trying to better myself and as I'm trying to learn from my own mistakes and just become a better person, I mean, that's what life's all about is learning from your mistakes and trying to always better yourself. As I'm doing that, you know, I want you guys to try and do it with me, and whatever advice I can give, I will always give, because I love helping people, so I hope this, I hope this helped someone. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.